Pistoletówki to najważniejsze rundy w całym meczu i niektórzy pro playerzy zagrają je lepiej bądź gorzej. Dlatego w dzisiejszym odcinku chciałem wam przedstawić najlepsze rundy pistoletowe na profesjonalnej scenie CS-a. W tym odcinku niestety nie będzie ostatnich osób, które dołączyły do grupy na Facebooku, ponieważ jestem teraz na Majorze w Krakowie i nagrywam te odcinki na zapas, więc zarówno w tym piątkowym odcinku, jak i w poniedziałkowym odcinku nie będzie niestety tych osób. Przepraszam. Jeżeli jesteście nowi u mnie na kanale, to zachęcam do zostawienia subskrypcji z dzwoneczkiem oraz łapki w górę pod filmem. Ja jestem X i zapraszam Cię do oglądania. Z kodem X w zakładce kod promocyjny możesz otworzyć swoją pierwszą skrzynkę za darmo. Zapraszam. About where this round is going, because look at that, you can just see. Actually, still Guardian Edward are lingering on A. Maybe not quite convinced by what they initially saw, but it'd be right to make that call. As a smoke towards upper as well, and it's more of that contact play. Big grenade there could do a ton of damage as LG make their way onto the bomb side. Oh, but look at Flame, he's already taken down two. He could get third here. They're lining up, and he's just like a guillotine. Four heads, five heads. Oh, Flamey dispatches of the entirety of the opponent's side. Luminosity fall. And that USP precision. His head was vulnerable the whole time, but so was theirs. That was what? sick. With mere Glocks and a bit of Kevlar here. Rubino moving away from the uh, disadvantageous numbers here. And there we go. Head to on the cutler. Down goes Cruiser as well. There's the throw, third kill and the fourth. <laughs> Rubino making it look oh easy. God. In one round, he goes from 26 to 30, Dan. What else is there to be said? That is just ridiculous, isn't it? What? <laughs> Well, he wants to have the most outrageous uh, rating in the, what's going to be 16 rounds, basically. Oh, look, they're all coming oh, drop. Oh, my God. Allow me to headshot everyone. Outrageous stuff. Look at this. Boom. Brilliant stuff. Patience on the last one as well. 30 for 7. Hold on to a maybe a better retake scenario so they aggress. Snack two, three, four. As he lines the up, a complete ace snacks. That was one of the most incredible pistol performances I've seen, period. Period. End of story. Good lord, snack. Too better for Fnatic than Inferno, but uh also two worse for G. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's you kind of have to make that storyline a thing because we already saw a huge comeback from Fnatic in the first round, in the first map, excuse me, on Inferno. And we know, you've said it enough times, and we've definitely seen it prove that Dennis is extremely good on these pistols to start that momentum off. Fast play, very fast play, and there it is! Oh my god, Dennis on cue, on point, all three kills again. I'm done, don't even buy guns. Just this guy could use a USB for the entire game, and I would be convinced because G2 certainly has to be convinced it no might be way. the ace to with an absolutely perfect round. What do you they need to do it now? It's a good trade to start off with. JW going down for Cold Sierra, and now Taco got a fall next, actually. That's all of my hitting a shot. LG, they need to move faster, otherwise, there was rotation. It's gonna come in from Fnatic. There's a good push going in. FNX picking up one, all with the refract. But FNX now a triple, and he's trying to see if he can pick up this USPS. He's got the bomb right there, but he can't make it down the stairwell. And he's alone in this one on two. He's finally got the bomb, and he's got 25 seconds. That's not a lot of time. If he runs and they hear him, how is he gonna get out from behind the bomb box here? I think he's actually playing this to try and see if he can get the kills instead of playing the bomb. This is such a big risk right now. And Fnatic, they're just not buying it. Now they must have heard him and they're gonna make the rotation. But the, the problem is now when he plants, he can't make it out and he's stuck in here. Just getting the bomb down. He's gonna have to take the fight. There's the one shot. Fnatic, oh no! Are you kidding me? Fnatic does a quad kill. That's an ace in the round. In the grand finals. Unreal. He continues to deliver in the clutch FNX. This is what I talked about at the beginning of this map, that he will win you the big rounds. What incredible play, five HP, ace clutch. And that is... Get control of middle, smoke the connector, burst onto the A site, and try and swarm them as quickly as you can. Most teams from the CTs will stack towards that B site, so this actually could work out perfectly. Let's Tali make that next move. There's the smoke. This is gonna be the first to front. Does spot up three players, now four as he looks over to the left, onto the A site. Nitro's gonna wait this. Does spot one out. Is the call made? It's not. Nitro takes down attacker. Oh, good! Nitro! What is this round? He takes down DD and Fancy as well. 
Beautiful headshots from Nitro and exactly what they need, but it's still down to the one versus two. And somebody's gonna fall back, get this a little bit slowed. He has the bomb picked up as well. He could actually get toward B and plant this, and they're gonna have to stick together here.